and Assalamualaikum. Well, trust care diagnostics. Say this is the CBCT of the patient that you had requested. The area of interest has not been highlighted, but just to give you an idea, the upper right <clears throat> six region, as you can see, is the denture. This is the transaxial view. Very little uh, bone quality and quantity available here. So we've got approximately a five millimeters of ridge width with only three millimeters of ridge height um, we've got an extremely pneumatized sinus we've got um, no bone area in the region of the six no bone in the region of the seven either we've got a slight media which we're presuming is from the upper right seven we've got nine millimeters of ridge width with only two millimeters of height so a lateral window sinus lift will be needed in this region <coughs> Moving to the premolars, we've got a slight bit of a class 5 region available, uh, present here in the upper right 4. Uh, we've got uh, gingival recession and bone loss in the upper anterior segment. This is the upper left 4. You can see we've done a class 5 filling. We have a upper right 5, so periodontal, periodontal bone loss, but nothing significant. The upper left 6 and 7 also shows significant bone loss here, as you can see right here. We've got very significant bone loss of calculus here, we've got bone loss up to here. So this, uh, this patient definitely is suffering from um, significant periodontal issues. This is the lower left 6 region, very ankylosed or very atrophied ridge as you can see right here approximately just four millimeters of ridge width and absolutely no height but six millimeters of height but this area cannot um, afford an implant because of the bone quantity and quality the root canal seem to be doing okay no periapical lesions can be observed this is the lower anterior region you got some form of restorations on the facial surface and then moving to the right side as you can see right here as there <clears throat> the lower right six is e dangerous but absolutely no bone quantity can be seen here this four millimeters of ridge width with 13 millimeters of height but it's very very thin ridge for implant placement so bone augmentation will definitely be needed this is the lower right seven which is the distal part of the uh, bridge as you can see significant bone loss around this tooth this bridge is definitely compromised as we can see here. Thank you very much.